Orange. It is corn day on the farm today, so I thought I would just take you along as we cut the corn, preserve the corn. I'll show you how we do that, and then I have some corn recipes to share. So I hope you're in for corn day. Let's go. So this is where we're boiling the corn and then this tub is full of cold water. So we cool it and then it goes over there onto the table where it's ready to be cut. Abby, what are you doing? What are you doing? With a hook on the bucket. Whoa! Every time I get one out, and then another one comes out. Is the lamb who was and is and is to I know there's so many options. I mean, corn chowder, Southwest salad, all, all these different ones. There's so many. But there's two that I wanted to show you that are both kind of an ode to my childhood, one to my childhood, and one to Josh's. The first one takes me right back to my child, and it is elotes. Now, let me know in the comments below if you know what that is. But essentially, it's Mexican street corn. When I was uh, 10 years old, we lived in Mexico for a year, and that's where I was first introduced to elotes. So anyway, this is one of our favorites, and definitely not one that you'll find in Amish country here too much, but my next recipe is one that this part of the world would be very familiar with. So this will not taste exactly like Mexican street corn because I cannot get all those ingredients here. But I have found this is very similar and you can adjust all the amounts depending on if you want more lemon or if you want more spicy or what you want. I'm gonna do my version now and truth be told, I normally just dump and taste and go. I mean, that's just how you cook, right? But I'll do my best to measure things out for you. I actually set out my measurements. Today. I think I'll do them and then I'll taste them in the end and make sure that we're good. So look in the description box if you want the actual final recipe. But to start off with, I put four cups of corn in my pot. I'm gonna heat my corn first. And I get this question so much about these pots. Yes, these are caraway pots. Love these, use them every single day, and I would highly recommend. So you can find those linked in my description box as well. Let's take this to the stove and we'll start heating the corn. 
Okay, the corn is on the stove, so while that heats up, I'm gonna take two whole lemons and just squeeze them, get all of that tasty juice out. This is one of my favorite parts of Elotis is the strong lemon flavor. I feel like Elotis has all the signature Mexican things. It has cheese, it has spice, it has lemon. <laughs> All right, the corn is hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my lemon juice, and we'll mix that in, and then we'll take it off the heat to add everything else. Then we'll add one cup of mayonnaise. When we were trying to figure out how to make this recipe, we just couldn't get it until we tried adding some mayonnaise, and we're like, that's the flavor we're missing, so I have no idea if Mexican street corn vendors actually use mayonnaise, but that's what works for us. And then I also have a cup of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna save just a little bit of this for garnish. And then we'll add some habanero lime flakes. You could add just like chili flakes. I like the bit of lime in this. I'll see if I can find this to link below. I don't know, I picked it up at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls or one of those places a long time ago but I'll see if I can find something similar. Mm, okay, yes, this is definitely starting to smell like it. We would walk along, I just gonna, I'm gonna add some more of this still. We would walk along the streets in Mexico and they would have music blaring. <laughs> And it was like everybody was just out on the streets, just like socializing and like there would be a traffic jam everywhere you look, but it was people just having fun and hanging out. It was like their great big social event every weekend and people would just slowly drive all along and honk their horns and stuff anyway. Then you'd stop at, I think it was called La Michoacan, Mexicans correct me if I'm wrong and stop for either some ice cream, ice cream called there again, paletas, right? Is that it? Or elotes, and it was such sweet memories. Okay, I think this is starting to look pretty good. Obviously this you can just add however much, this thing grinds super slow, so I'm not actually putting in like two cups of this stuff while I'm cranking away there. But this is looking pretty close. Let me taste it and see if we need any adjustments. I can't wait to try it. Yeah, that's really good. Lots of lemon coming through. Ooh, now I'm getting some of the kick. Mmm, heat, that's so good. Don't want it spicy, you obviously don't have to add chili flakes. If you haven't tried this, definitely give it a try. It is such a fun twist on corn. So, I'm gonna pretend that you just walked in the door and I'm gonna serve you a bowl of one of my favorite Mexican dishes. Then I'm gonna take my Parmesan cheese that I kept aside before. All right, and then we'll put some more of these pepper flakes on top just to look extra pretty. <laughs> and we'll garnish with a little bit of cilantro. Love from my kitchen to yours. <laughs> All right, time to travel a little, and we're gonna come right back here to Amish country, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, where my husband grew up, and I'm gonna make one of his favorite corn dishes. That's what's next on the menu, let's get to it. Corn fritters really are so simple. You might think of them as kind of being the same idea as like crab cakes or something like that. To start off with, I'm gonna mix three cups corn with one cup flour. And you know what? I just don't think this is all gonna fit in my bowl. I'm short on mixing bowls, so I'm gonna use this great big giant one here just so we're not overflowing onto everything. So I'll put my three cups of corn in here. Wow, this is really unnecessarily big. <laughs> we're gonna go with it though. And then we're gonna do the cup of flour, one tablespoon of sugar, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and then I'm gonna just sprinkle on some salt. I don't know, maybe about a half teaspoon and a little bit of black pepper as well as three quarter cup whole milk. And then I'm gonna just crack my eggs into this dish. And we'll whisk those up before we add them to the mixture. Then mix 
this all together. Honestly, super, super easy. Okay, let's take it over to the stove. I'm gonna add a little bit of avocado oil. I just do this on the first round and then we're gonna make, almost like you're making pancakes out of these. like finished I just set them on my little tray here normally I love to serve these with a garlic aioli I'll put it in my description box below but I went to make it and realized I didn't have enough of garlic so I am substituting with sour cream but if you have ingredients for the garlic aioli I would highly recommend doing that instead to finish garnishing this y'all know I love my herbs so I'm gonna just sprinkle a little bit of herbs over top just like that and voila, there we have it, our corn fritters. Thank you so much for joining us for Corn Day on the Farm. I hope you enjoyed following along. Thank you for being here, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye, friends. Golden, golden thing.